episode eight is here, guys. Night surfing, Bournemouth Pier. The ground swells recently have allowed some really cool sessions. So let's start with me. Yep, trying to lose my wedding ring in the sea. Uh, this thing will come off my finger pretty easy. So, yeah, got it on the GoPro band just to make sure I have a wife when I get home. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Happy days. Episode number eight. I'm around here. Form a stair as you can see. And I'm right here with John. <laughs> Over there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're having a great time. The waves are pretty stiff. Here's one. The real good shape. And obviously, uh, there's nobody in, so that's extra cool. But uh, yeah, John's on his uh, first time on a night surf, so there's plenty to take in. Getting used to the gear. Getting used to what the waves look like. It's like learning to surf again to start with. But uh, yeah. Very cool. It takes a while to get used to the kit, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. And then, then you've got to get used to how the waves look, or don't look. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to start with, and then you get used to it. And then it's uh, yeah, not helping us as well, is it? Coming in all over the place.
Thanks for watching. Press subscribe. I've been Lloyd. You've been awesome. Stay fit, guys. Yay. Another night session drawing to a close, there, guys, and it was such a fun one to film. We had a sick time. Can't wait for the next one. Surfing Bournemouth Pier on your own, just with you and your mate, is so sick. And got to get yourself a night surfing light. It just means you can surf in the winter, after work, before work. It totally changes the game. Anyway, keep a look out for my next videos. Press subscribe, do all of that blogging rubbish. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. I've got some really exciting ones coming. So yeah, I'm pumped. Bye.